behind the scenes, truckers are keeping America moving. But the pandemic is also adding to their stress with more hours to drive and fewer places to get food and water. Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes looked into what they're facing. We're at the TA in Forestell, which is still open to travelers, but many truck stops are closed. We talked to families from both Missouri and Illinois about their increasing workload and fewer quality breaks. It's been hard, especially if you can't find a place to park because, you know, a lot of the truck stops are limiting how many trucks can come in. Larry and Angie Baum from Belleville are journaling their trucking travels on Facebook. Wow. They are married to the road. Wow. We're on the road a lot more. We're That's doing about six big. days That's a week huge. right now. We're home for usually about a day, day and a half. We spoke via Zoom while they were driving out of Nashville. Many truck stops are closing to anything but fuel fill-ups. Signs say no more bathrooms, no coffee or water available. We also spoke to Ironton, Missouri's Jim Allison as he was driving out of Chicago. A cup of coffee keeps me energized. And taking a shower makes me feel like a human out here, so like, um, like a dog or something. His worried wife, Deidre, joined us from their home. But they're not able to get food. Since they're out there bringing us the essential things that we need, it's kind of frustrating. Deidre says she's thankful for average citizens stepping up, like a Virginia couple who prepared free meals for truckers. A lot of waves, a lot of thumbs up, a lot of people honking for support. So the support for truckers is getting a lot better. I like that. The bombs have an advantage of being a team of four. Yeah. This, one, this one's bandit. This one's good as well. They're brothers from two different letters. More important on the road now more than ever since they're cut off from human contact with the route that we have we're able to go see our great our children because we have one in arizona and one in florida but we can't do that now because we're scared that we're going to infect them so but yeah the dogs help a lot the bonds can keep rolling longer since they're a team but they say those stops are still so important and they say it's only getting harder to find places to pull over for the fox file